What is going on guys? It's Hunter here. Hope you're having a great day and I'm back again with another product review. It's actually one that I've done before, but this time I'm doing a little more in depth of a review on it. And so this week it is the Hans de Fuco's Claymation, one of the best products out there that I've ever used. The one that I personally use right now. And so I wanted to kind of walk you guys through it, how I use it and what I think of it. So stay tuned. What I need to do first is I need to go wash out my hair, make sure it's all ready to go, towel dried and ready to be blow dried. So let's go do that right now. Okay, so now that my hair has been washed and towel dried, it's ready to be blow dried. And so I've already sprayed a little bit of heat protectant spray in it, just to kind of protect it from the temperatures of the blow dryer. I don't normally use the highest heat setting um, unless I want to dry it a little bit faster, but even then I don't use it for very long just because I don't want to burn my hair. So I normally do it on the medium heat setting, highest speed, and to do the bulk of the blow drying. When it's normally dried, I will change it to the complete cold to give it a blast of cold air. And I say that kind of closes the pores and actually will add a little extra volume. So I will do that at the end. Okay, so my hair is blow dried, finished it with a blast of cold air, and it's looking a little funky. So what I'm going to do, since I have thinner hair strands, and I found this new product that I got last week that I'm actually really loving. It is the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play, if you can see that there. It is a basically a volumizing and texturizing powder. Super killer stuff. I've been super happy with it. And I wasn't sure if it would work. I'd seen videos and it seemed like it would work well. But after I tried it, I was like, man, this actually really does work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of this throughout my hair. What you want to do is kind of section it or find your little sections and sprinkle just a little bit. Whoa, that's a lot. Sprinkle a little bit in. And actually, I'm looking at a different computer screen right now to do this. And it's a little laggy. So <laughs> if this looks weird, I apologize because it looks weird what I'm looking at. So going to just and you don't really need much a little goes a long way for the most part um, and I'm gonna try to get a little more up here in the front just because I want more volume at the front than I do the back so just kind of find some sections work this through and it definitely does add some texture to it I did have my hair texturized a little bit the last time I got it cut so it would help with that a little more and thin thinned a little bit because my hair is very thick even though they're thin hair thin hair strands it is very thick hair and so it, if it grows too long or too thick it will weigh it down and then I just can't get any volume like I want so that's probably good on the powder. And we'll put a little more right here. My hair likes to naturally part right down the middle. And so, oh gosh, this is horrible. So, I don't know. It just kind of helps if I put a little bit right down the middle where it likes to part. There we go. And you just kind of rub it in. Rub it all together. Make sure it gets on there to the roots. And to stay. that there we go so now on to the main attraction what this video is really based around and that is Hans de Fuco's claymation um, I did a little quick review on it a few weeks ago when I first got it in used it a couple times and um, it wasn't very in-depth I was literally standing outside of a building talking about it but so this time I wanted to do, to do another one more in-depth 
kind of uh, walk you through it, kind of what I do to get ready with my hair, and um, more what I what I think of the product and, and how I like it. Um, I use it pretty much every day now, and so I've really gotten used to it and found out what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and stuff like that. So I, I absolutely love this product. It is a super great product. Um, very, so the bottle of the package says, super high hold matte finish, which is definitely true. The matte finish may be, it has a little bit of a shine, not much, not much at all. Just a tiny bit of shine. So I'd say it's, I don't know, it's kind of in between a matte finish and a semi-matte finish. Or if you're comparing it to their other product, Quicksand, then I would definitely consider this one a matte product because Quicksand is a like a super matte product. So I would, it's, it's probably a matte product, yeah. Everything, it is certified organic, extracts, paraben free. Um, it has all the ingredients on the back there, if you can see that. Patch, packaging is super nice. I love the packaging. It's very simple, it's clean, nice metal top with just a kind of a frosted clear case um, font, great font. And um, so crack it open, as you can see in there. It doesn't really, doesn't smell like much at all. Maybe has almost, not quite like a clay smell. I mean, it is a clay for your hair, so it may have like a kind of a clay smell, but there's really not much of a smell at all. It is definitely thick, so let me just go ahead and take a little bit out of here. I don't really use much at a time. Um, normally I will use something like that, if you can see that. Something like that, it's not a whole lot. And um, you can always add more, but you always wanna start with a little and then work your way up to more. Just so that way, I mean, you can't go back once you put a lot in your hair, unless you wash it all out and start again. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of it and uh, just rub that in the hand. Uh, I may need a little more. Okay, so that much. And I'm just gonna warm it up through my hands. Make sure you warm it up really, really well. Um, Cause the first couple times I guess I didn't warm it up enough and it left a few little pieces in there. And so really make sure you warm it up well. Um, what I saw not too long ago was somebody actually kind of worked it through their finger, like through the actual fingers, which I thought, well, that's just a waste of product, but it actually helps when you're rubbing your hands through your hair. So that is all warmed up and ready to go. All right, so I'm just gonna start working it through. Most of the time you wanna start from the back and work your way to the front, so that way you don't get a bunch of globbed up product on the front and weighs it down. Whew. I mean, it's, as you can see, it's standing up pretty high. It definitely has a great hold and it's a lasting hold. So I'm gonna do my best to style this properly while looking at the screen. I normally will go back and use a little bit more just to kind of get some of the, the flyaways down, some of the stray hairs, stuff like that. Can't see if you can kind of see what I'm looking at. A lot of times I will run a brush back through it just to kind of clean it up or a comb just because I, I tend to like it cleaner, not quite a messy look. Let's use a little more. So normally we'll get a little bit more of my fingertips and just kind of rub it together. And that's primarily for the side of my hair on the other side of the hard part and the back because they have a mind of their own sometimes. So I'm just going to find that separation right there. Really define it, work a little bit more through this side of the hair. It tends to kind of stick out sometimes. And then the rest is kind of through the back. So that is pretty much it. All right, so I've got my hair placed where I want it. And as you can see, it's pretty much cleaned up. I don't know if, how much you can tell. Give you some kind of side views here, the front, the top again, and this side. It's all pretty cleaned up. Got my part defined. I mean, it is a hard part, so it kind of splits easier than it would if it wasn't cut. But, um, so got it where I want it. Went with a little bit of a messier look. Um, I didn't run a brush back through it afterwards um, like I normally do, but I'm trying to, trying to work my way towards a messier look, I guess you could say. I'm just running my fingers through it. Kind of drives me crazy sometimes with all the little flyaways, um, but so I'm, I'm trying to live to work, live with those and work through those. But So to finish it off, if you want, 
your hair to hold a little bit longer throughout the day. So I'm just give you a little shake test first. <laughs> it's not too bad. It uh, it's staying, and it's it's reworkable. So I mean, it has hold, but you can still run your hands through it and rework it if you need to. So if you want to just add a little extra hold throughout the day, you can always add a little bit of hairspray. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, the one I use is the Sebastian Shaper Zero Gravity. Love this stuff. It's super light. Um, more of a matte finish doesn't add a bunch of shine to your hair unless you add a bunch of hairspray but so I'm just going to spray a little bit in to kind of give it a little extra hold and that is pretty much it just kind of locked it in place let that cure try not to move your hair too much don't go touching your hair after you spray a bunch of hairspray because then it just messes up the hair. Um, so this is pretty much it as far as the product goes. Um, like I said, Hans DeFugo's Claymation, probably the best product I've ever used. And I will use this product for a long time unless something else better comes along or just, I mean, I'm always going to try new stuff. But um, So it's super high hold matte finish hair clay. And um, I will link their website, HansDeFugo.com down below in the description. And um, so that way you guys can check out their products. It's super great products, excellent packaging, and their customer service is top notch. And um, so definitely check them out. I will add the link if you go to their website. I have my own um, personal discount code that you can use to get 10% off any of your products or your purchase, I should say. Um, so use the code A-N-B-H-U-N. Uh, like I said, I will have that linked in the description. So that way you can check that out and get 10% off your purchase. And that is really about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational. I hope it kind of gave you a better idea of the product and what it's like and um, kind of, I guess, how I fix my hair. So definitely check out their product. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down in the comment box below what you thought and any suggestions, anything like that. Make sure and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that way you can get the latest videos and just check out some more cool stuff. And I will make sure and link everything else that I've used in this video down below so that way you can check it out and see um, what the products are like. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great day. And until next time, take it easy. One last little thing, if you stayed all the way to the end of this video, I am actually going to be giving away a full container of Hans DeFuco's Claymation. Um, they have been kind enough to send me out some product to give away to you guys. And so what I want you to do, if you aren't following me on Instagram, make sure, go follow me on Instagram, because in the next couple days, one to two days maybe, uh, I'm gonna be posting a graphic. And that graphic, you're going to follow the steps on there, what it says to do, and that is how we'll pick a winner. It'll be randomized and we will pick a winner for the giveaway of Claymation. I actually have two more products after this one to give away. Um, this is the only one I'm giving away right now. So make sure if you aren't following me on Instagram, go follow me and find out how to win. Yeah.